Good morning. We put up the uh, stroller last night, which had the camera in it. So we left the camera in the car. Didn't we? Yes, we did. We're gonna go around to the park and see if our kids are in there and then we're gonna go and play. I tried to sit in this, but I can't. My butt doesn't fit. Ooh. There is nothing quite like walking up three flights of stairs as soon as you get up. What are you doing? It's stuck under the couch, honey. Give me, give it, no, no, no. I always have to taste things. Such a little investigator. <laughs> hey. Oh, you want me to put it in your mouth? You want to taste it? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we're trying some little teeny tiny apple slices this morning for breakfast. Yeah. What are you pointing at? Is it good? Oh my goodness. What's this, a bug? I think that's a, a bug's life. Man, that movie was funny, wasn't it? You haven't watched it yet. <coughs> You ate all of your apple. It's completely clean here. Well, we haven't moved the furniture around yet. The bed is still right there, isn't it? Yeah. And hopefully we'll do it this weekend. I have to watch him because he climbs up on this and just stands and tries to surf on the rocking chair. This uh, chair is good for, I think up to like six years old or something. It's a rocking chair, but it was also, you know, a, a bouncer as a baby, so we can't really use it right now because, uh, you know, we have to strap him in. So we're just waiting until we don't have to strap him in. He can sit in it by himself. Yeah, come here. Come here. Give me some love. <laughs> That's what happens when he gets a hold of my keyboard. Usually the cat does that. I'll come out in the morning and it'll be like that. Yep. Got into the paper towels again, didn't you? That's okay. I <laughs> gotta find a new place for them. Warning. These next scenes are disgusting. You might want to turn away. Kitty. Kitty's out here in this window thing and I have no idea where she's at. She probably went up to the fourth floor. I hear her meowing though. This is, she got out of that screen. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Oh my god, seriously? Seriously, kitty? Seriously? She's at the fourth floor and we're on the third floor. There's our air conditioning yucky thing. This is what our neighbors throw down on us. This is disgusting. If you can see ours, we don't have garbage down there like they do. Come on, kitty. <laughs> Your hand is stuck. <coughs> Was it really stuck? Oh yeah, guess what? I had to go upstairs and get my cat. Yes, thank God the woman was home. So she's like, she was Russian. I had no idea what she was saying, but she was like, blah, 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 you know. Um, the word for bathroom is shuvatim. I didn't hear that word. I'm not sure exactly what she said, but she was speaking to me in Russian. I apparently look like a Russian. A lot of people come up to me and speak Russian instead of Hebrew. 
and then they realize I'm American and then uh, so apparently I look Russian so finally got my kitty she we put screen on the window in our bathroom so she could sit in the window seal but she actually took the staples out of the screen and went underneath of it jumped down or jumped up uh, climbed up I don't know what she did but finally got her back thank God but what I'm really sad about is their apartment is a lot nicer than ours. It looked a lot bigger. They have less furniture, that's for sure. Oh God. He dropped his bottle and luckily it didn't break because it had a green sleeve on it. Thank you, Hadar. Anyway, so their apartment's a lot nicer than ours. Like where we have our utility room, we have this really stupid door that opens in. The room is in itself is like two feet wide. So when you open a door in, you can't get to the the back of it where the washing machine is it's just a ridiculously designed room and they have a big huge archway and their their kitchen is nice and big and they have their kitchen table in there and their living room looks so empty i thought they just moved in but they've been there excuse me but they've been there for like um well just a little bit after we got here so like a year now but yeah i'm kind of sad that we don't have a big archway in our in our kitchen. Oh well. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh my goodness. Get out of there. You're doing great. <laughs> Have you been defeated by the weights? I'm sure you can do it, honey. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Pick it up right there. Good job. Good job. Good job, baby. I get Hadar's supplements out, one in the morning and one in the evening, you know, a set of them. And I found out that the cat really likes the soft gels, so I have to keep the, the container in his little get ready box. These are his pills and she just goes nuts over these soft gels. She wants to eat them or something, I don't know. So here's what he takes, uh, creatine fuel stack. Estaxanthin, I hate saying that word. Uh, chlorella, good for detox. MSM, and this we found it was in uh, the Benton Dent. It was really cheap. It's Vital and Sharp Mind, Omega 3, Ginkgo Biloba, and B vitamins. So I get these ready twice a day. Probably would be good if I invested in one of those pill things for daily use. <laughs> so I'm feeling great on my juice fast so far. Um, I haven't actually weighed myself today. I might wait for a couple more days to weigh myself that I can feel like I've lost already uh, a couple of pounds. I haven't drank any juice yet and it's about two o'clock. I had a lot of stress today because I had to actually go out of the house twice today and I know that this seems weird but you know I had to interact with the neighbor and actually go up into her house and crawl out her window which is really tiny and get my cat so and I had the baby with me at the same time and she like had to hold my baby while I was like fooling with this stupid cat but yeah I got my cat thank god um you know and the cat escaping that was like another stressor and I haven't eaten today and uh still feeling good you know, I'm just uh, probably get some kale, carrot, maybe some beet juice. I don't know what I want yet. Might even wait until Hadar gets home and have like a nighttime juice before we go for a walk. Really? I got up for two seconds. Hey, you're in my chair.
haven't actually heard them cry for quite a while. I think that they heard me through the door, like, saying, wow, those kids are loud. <laughs> so they haven't been letting them cry, but that was nice because usually when they're crying, the baby's sleeping. He's sleeping now. He's been asleep for about two hours. Hadar is on his way home right now. Um, I haven't juiced yet. I haven't um, drank any juice, but I did drink some tea and some water. <sighs> Still feeling good. Uh, just editing my video real quick because I had some other stuff that I had to do. Focus. Ford Focus. Hey. So. Hey. Ford Focus. Watch the language, Ford Focus. Okay. He's coming. <laughs> uh, dinner tonight hearts and broccoli and yogurt. That's probably not kosher, is it? Technically, it isn't. I don't think that uh, Unless, turkeys and chickens make this. milk, though. The Ashkenazim, yeah. there's two, you know, streams, you know, main streams yeah. in, in Judaism, not Hebrew, <gasps> Judaism. Oh, no. Uh, what do you call it? Ashkenazim, they say that you can eat ex Sfaradim, the Eastern people, you know, people from Morocco and uh, Sfaradim literally means Spain. Sfaradim, yeah. But Morocco, Yemen, Iraq, all these Jews, they believe that, they, well, According to their smart people 2,000 years ago, smart people who replaced the Kohanim, what do you call them? Priests? The real priests? Jewish people have priests? We used to have priests and then they okay. disappeared and we have, what do you call them now? Rabbis. Rabbis, yeah. So, oh, okay. anyway, Sfaradim believe that you can eat dairy and instantly afterwards meat. But if you eat meat, you have to wait, I think it's three or four or six hours. Everyone goes by something else. So do what you're going to Yeah. Uh, I don't follow either. I just do what my stomach tells me to. And usually <laughs> if I eat too many kinds of foods, it goes bad. So Yeah. I try not to do that too much. Yeah, he can't eat real spicy food. I don't know what me? his problem is. Me? Yeah. Okay, you're just talking <laughs> trash now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone's having a great day. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Anaya.